Hey, welcome back. Takeout Tuesday time. Time to check in with a local bar offering some fun wine experiences to go. Yes, Sem Wine Bar in North Portland is offering some unique flight kits to try at home. Joining us live right now is owner and wine director Wei and Tan and tasting manager Lauren Morrison. Good morning to you both. Hi guys. Morning. Hey, good morning. Well, this was a, a treat this oh, morning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fun so, little spin on Takeout oh, Tuesday. We always love when there's food and wine I in the hope. studio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. <laughs> well, tell us about what we have in front of us, these to go offerings that you're doing right now. Yeah, so right now you have a flight, and because this is Women's History Month, um, we came up with a Women Wine Power flight that you have right there in front of you, and they're all different female winemakers, three of them from Oregon and one from Idaho nearby. And so we just wanted to kind of illustrate the different tactics and strategies that people are using nowadays to really move the wine movement forward with women. And uh, so it's going to be a different type of wine that you have with our snack pack, which is what you have in front of you as well. Um, it's a bunch of cheeses, artisanal cheeses, chocolates, truffles, anything that you could want to pair with your wine. So. I love it. This is yeah. all the all the fun of going wine tasting. But if right. you you know if you want to do it at home, uh, you can get these nice little. Are you dropping them off too? It's like pre-portioned tastings and everything in these cute little Ex jars. Yeah, oh. exactly. So you have a glass about a glass in each um, little bottle over there. And the reason why you wanted to do this instead of you know you know, you can buy four bottles of the wine as well, right? You can just buy those four bottles. But people, I mean, if you want to do a real wine tasting experience and you can't really do that a lot. Nowadays at home with paired with cheeses, you want to have a little bit of everything that will really just give a real nice, exquisite kind of experience with each cheese and chocolates, whatever it is that you're tasting with. So it's kind of a bite-sized portion. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to open, I mean, maybe you would, but I, if I had four bottles of wine with me and I brought back like, a supply, it'd be, you know, it might be a fun night. It, it would <laughs> then you feel like night. you gotta use yes. it up. Yeah. yeah, but these are kind <laughs> of like the try before you buy. Yeah, these are generous <laughs> pours though. These aren't like, cause you know, when yeah. you go wine tasting, a lot of times it's a little no, you tiny got a full, pour. You these got are four full glasses this is the full meal deal uh -huh. right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're still going to be really happy at the end of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. now, Lauren, I, I love I love coming to Stem and, and always trying something new. It is one of my favorite places to, to see all these new wines. How do you guys select and kind of curate some of these different tastings? Yeah, I mean, like she was saying this month, it's like Women Female History Month. And so we did that. But we like to try to stay seasonal. And honestly, it's kind of what we like in the bar right now. <laughs> like we have a great local Pinot Noir flight. We also have a Cabernet Franc flight, which is a little different, a little spicier. Some people haven't tried that one. So yeah, it's kind of at our discretion and like definitely seasonal as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got a different, the Sawtooth, Battle Creek Cellars, uh, Day Wines and Stony Wines in front of us right now. And so, these are all uh, women. women and minority mm -hmm. owned winemakers, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and some of the really interesting stories, and we don't have to go through every single wine, but for example, the second one um, from Brienne Day is actually called Lemonade, and it doesn't actually taste like lemonade. Something would be wrong if it did, um, but something happened in Oregon in 2020. Um, a lot of things happened in Oregon in 2020, um, but uh, the wildfires happened in Oregon, and so what happened was that Brienne Day saw you know, the smoke destroying all these Pinot Noir grapes, um, and so you couldn't make red Pinot Noir out of it because that means you have a lot of smoke taint in the skins. Mm -hmm. And so she decided that I'm going to make lemonade out of lemons and I'm going to create a rosé, a white Pinot Noir. And so that's how that kind of came about. Um, so it's just really interesting stories, really innovative creations here. That's very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. I, I love always getting to learn about, you know, the, our local winemakers and, and the stories behind it. And so this is such a fantastic way to, to try that. Now, yeah. in addition to some of the takeout and the to-go stuff, which is great, uh, are you guys also doing some, some in-person stuff right now? How are things at the wine bar? Yeah, we actually were just able to open up. We're about at 25% capacity. So we have like five tables inside and five tables outside. And we are doing um, tastings in person in the bar as well. We can do up to a party of six. Um, and it's it's fun on virtual, like doing it on Zoom as well, but it's even better in person. Yeah, yeah. always, always better in person. <laughs> yes, okay, well, thank you so much for joining us, Wei-In and Lauren. Have a good day.